I'm Camilla. Welcome to my showreel. As you can hear, I'm a foreigner, but I love Australia. And today I'm going to show you some of my secret out of the way places. So come on, let's get going. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is Botany Bay National Park, the birthplace of modern Australia. What that means is that the first British settler, James Cook, landed here on the historic day of the 29th of April, 1770. Yup, just a couple of meters up from where I'm standing is where his ship first docked. Now what most people don't know is that the British beat the French by only two weeks. Can you imagine if Australia had been a French-speaking rather than an English-speaking colony? Certainly would have changed things. Can you imagine how relieved those tired sailors would have been to see these beautiful green trees and white beaches? The park is home to a huge variety of fauna and flora, as well as a big marine estuary. There are lots of lovely little picnic spots and exciting walking trails, but the best is the cycling. Well, I'm not one to turn down a challenge, so here I am on my trusty bike. We'll see you next time when we explore the vast secrets of the Barrier Reef. I'm Camilla. Ciao for now. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me, and he sang as he stole that jumbuck in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Welcome to Happy Hour, the little program where we're going to show you how to make some really great cocktails with their complimentary snacks. Let's get started. I've got some brilliant friends here with me, Mel and Manny. Hi. They're going to help me out and we're going to be making mango stuff because it's summer and mangoes are in season. Manuel's going to be helping us out with a huge cocktail later in a tick. But first up is Mel. What's on the menu? Mango salsa. We're going green on Creature Corner today, guys. Leanne's going to be showing us her frogs and she's got quite a lot of them. They're beautiful creatures. Don't forget, Pet of the Week's coming up. But let's get going with Leanne and her frogs. Good to have you here, Leanne. Thank you so much for having me again. So you've got quite a few tree frogs here, are they? That's correct. I only eat live food, so it's quite fascinating to watch them eat. What do you feed them? Live crickets and what they call a wood cockroach. So you actually keep the cockroaches? I keep cockroaches in my garage in wheelie bins. It's pretty scary. You can buy those from pet shops That's as well. correct. Amazing animals. I tell you what, I would love to get a couple for myself. We've got Pet of the Week coming up right here. Now! I've got Jen here from Save Our Seniors with two Pets of the Week today. Special treats. Welcome to the program, Jen. Thanks Thank for you. chatting nice to, to us. Be here. Tell us a bit about these two. I don't know about you, but I've been a bit wary of bees most of my life. But today on Creature Corner, we're going to be chatting to Eric, the Bee Man, who has some interesting facts on these incredible insects. Don't forget, Pet of the Week coming up as well, talking of incredible. But let's get buzzing with Eric, the Bee Man. Thank you so much for coming on the program, Eric. Really good to have you here. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, you've got a bee sting there you want to chat to us about? You can see there that it's been highly magnified. We're going to be hive in our roof. Call you, we don't call the exterminator. That's right. Any time that that happens, we advise the people not to disturb them, but call a beekeeper. Because if we take the bees who are out of the equation, we've got no food to eat. I'm going to appreciate bees far more now. <laughs> they are an interesting creature to work with. And very important to the environment. Exactly. Thank you so much, Eric. You're more than welcome. That's an amazing man. i got to tell you, he's very passionate about the insects as well, which is wonderful to see. Alrighty then, talking of wonderful, you guessed it, it is Pet of the Week up on the stage. Who is it right now? This is our star of the show, Joshy. He's a corgi cross, about five years old. He was brought into the Sydney Cats and Dogs home in a really bad state, but they fixed him up and he's all rearing to go. He's got a lot of energy, even though he's a little bit on the old side. He'd suit anyone. He loves families, he loves singles, he loves other dogs, so he'd fit in anywhere. 95879611 if you want to give this little joyful soul a good home. He really does need it. And also, if you want to make a donation to the Sydney Cats and Dogs home, that's always welcome. I'm Camilla. We'll see you again next time. Ciao for now. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>